hi guys good evening from wherever you're watching from so today i'm taking a walk i started taking walks from the day i went for my 37 weeks appointment i got the disappointment of my life so i decided to start taking walks to know if i can push this young man out because mama is tired so this is the fifth lap and hopefully we get to progress but i'm going to sit down a bit because i'm running out of breath and i decided to put on my camera to talk to my special people <laughs> youtube has dealt with me <laughs> failure to lose my subscribers which i've lost from 1200 now i'm at 924 subscribers i hope this side is good okay Oh, this sun is, is giving me a golden glow. Like as if I don't have, um, what's it called? Black spots on my face. Because this pregnancy, uh, like my first pregnancy, I had a lot of um, moles on my face, on my daughter, my first child. Then my second was my son. I was looking very pretty. But this one, I know I have black spots before, but this one, the black spots that it came with there, oh, these black spots they went to harvard but i started using um hyaluronic acid and um because it also gave me dry skin excess excessive dry skin this is one of the symptoms i had from my first month of pregnancy to now it gave me extreme dry skin my face was so rough like um, sandpaper so i recently though i got um, hyaluronic acid since but i I used it, felt like as if it got worse, but I didn't discover that in order to use hyaluronic acid, you have to have a damp face to use it because it attracts moisture. So I was using it the wrong way. But I discovered the right way just a few weeks back. And I decided to try it. And my face has been giving, it's been getting smoother and I still having acne back because I used to have acne prone skin before but when the dryness started i stopped having acne my face was extremely dry but right now that my skin is getting moisture back and i still collecting um still getting moisture and still having the oiliness which i can't believe i'm going to say this i'm so grateful to have my oily skin back see if you have acne and you have an oily skin thank god because having dry skin it, it's so bad even so this part of my skin here still having flakes dry flakes like someone that is having i don't know the right word just just so dry but anyway today i decided to make up since i got pregnant i haven't made up but today i decided to make up and i'm feeling myself so i said i'm going to do even if it's a four minute video it's fine but let me just show myself and appreciate today that I actually took my uh, took my baby girl to the hospital to get her glasses. She started complaining of her eyesight. Went to her four years appointment with the doctor, with a pediatrician, and they did an eye exam for her. And they found out that she has astigmatism, so they referred us to a specialist, and I an optometrist rather. So they saw her last week, and they recommended some they recommended glasses for her. So went to pick it up today. And she's wearing it already because she's starting school in two weeks on the 7th of August. She'll be starting school. But I want her to start wearing it now so that I can monitor her usage and also teach her how to use it very well before she starts school. Because her mother's school fees jail. And I wouldn't want her to, you know, go to school. Because when they were doing her eye exam, basic shapes and numbers that she knew or that she knows, when they were, when they were asking her because it was far from her sight, she couldn't answer them so but when they brought it close to her she could answer and say what excuse me i'm having lollipop and i think it's giving me heartburn every little thing now gives me heartburn so when they were asking her she when they brought it closer to her she passed it so now that she's starting school because at four years that's when you get to start school here so now that she's starting school i wouldn't want it to be an excuse for my child to be failing in school i know how it can affect children they are, what's, what's wrong with my brain these days? We have um, self, 
awareness or self-consciousness what's the right word i know it's somewhere in my brain but i can't i can't for the life of me say it out so i don't want it to affect her you know maybe her mates will be laughing at her or she'll be feeling less than herself so i really wanted to get the glasses and luckily they called us for it today so i had to go pick it up and now she's wearing it so i have to order those rope that they put on the neck for her from amazon or etsy so that she can be wearing that my daughter is very she plays a lot so i want to get the rope one so that even if she's playing it doesn't fall off and break i got two for her though one for going to school and one for staying at the, uh, in the house because her doctor said immediately she wakes up in the morning we should put the glasses on her so that by her three months appointment when we go back let's see if they can if it has stayed correcting because i wouldn't want her to wear glasses for the rest of her life and all that stuff anyway how are you guys doing wherever you are i hope everywhere it's, everything is all right to you and your loved ones and um, please subscribe to my channel please i did beg on i'm gonna subscribe anyway oh as always let me know in the comment section what you think oh youtube youtube has dealt with me i can't believe i didn't know that this kind of thing can happen to somebody on youtube that has been monetized and all those after going through all that stress of getting 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours now i'm going to start again from the beginning hustling again on youtube streets but hopefully we get to hustle better this time around and i hope that gets my engagements back I have nobody to blame but myself anyway i don't want to make this video all about me but it's all about me you know <laughs> anyway guys i'll see you guys soon again but until then remain blessed and um, keep pushing it for my peeps in nigeria it will all be it will all get better it will all get better i hope and pray that all of us in this our generation will live long to see a better nigeria even if it's when we are very old. But I believe in the, in the Nigerian dream that one day we will get it right and everybody will be fine. Anyway, umunem no umunem. my brothers and my sisters all over the world, have a great day. Today is Thursday. We're looking forward to the weekend and I'm counting down to when I'll bring this handsome young man into the world. I realize I will keep keen because this boy really dealt with me this pregnancy. Anyways, talk to you guys some other time. Let me continue my walk. I love you guys. Bye.